Hello, this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech, where your geeky grandpa talks tech, tech reviews, tech solutions, tech problems, and all kinds of tech. Today, I am so angry. I am been counterfeited. It just cost me $1,400 because of a counterfeit oil filter. I'm going to get into that right now, but don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to talk to you how not to be counterfeited. I'm going to tell you, I got so angry. He had the oil change, went down to the mechanic, no problem. All of a sudden, very shortly later, the car starts acting up. The car starts stalling. Oh, what could be possibly wrong with the car, right? And, oh, I got some bad gas, maybe I got this, maybe I got that. No. We took the car down to our regular mechanic and... After looking inside, we found out that the other mechanic had installed a fake oil filter. And I want to talk to you about that. Because that oil filter was so fake that the paper that made the filter disintegrated and destroyed the engine. I want to talk to you about that. How many of you have purchased fake products in the past? And it's getting much, much worse. It is getting so bad that right now $1.3 billion of fake goods are entering the country every year. And most of them are from China. Now, this is not the way it used to be. Before, you know, you went on to New York City and somebody was selling you a, a fake Rolex, you know, for $20 versus paying $1,300. And it was something just for fun. Or a, a fake coach bag, which you knew wasn't real, but you felt, I got something that looks like it. But now it's getting really bad. And most of these products are really, really causing some severe, severe problems. Like, for instance, with us with the car. Or, but it's not that simple anymore. Counterfeit airbags, major problem, major problem. You get a counterfeit airbag, you install that in your car, and it goes off, you could be embedded with all kinds of metal fragments. It could kill you. What about fake drugs? Yes, pharmaceuticals are becoming major problems. Some drug stores have actually found out that the drugs that they were selling are actually fake. Now, you're taking something important like a heart medication or a... Uh, something for your diabetes and it's not actually re real that can kill you and what about baby carriers can you imagine this you buy a bake a fake baby carrier and or a fake helmet and something happens like an accident like in this particular picture and that helmet which was designed and says that it's supposed to meet certain specification just crumbles or you put your baby in that car seat and suddenly you get into a car accident and where it should have held up, it crumbles. That's how bad this is. And that's what I'm talking about right now. Now, since the pandemic, everybody has had to go online. Basically, everybody's buying from either Amazon or eBay or other sources because they couldn't get the goods that they needed. And that has led to a lot of counterfeiting. And Amazon is one of the biggest problems of all right now. Because if you, one of the things you have to be careful with Amazon is, is it sourced by Amazon or is it some other vendor who's selling it on Amazon? So you don't know whether or not that, who that vendor is and where it's coming from. And if it's any good. So how can you protect yourself? I mean, you look at these statistics about how much of the goods is fake. How do you do it? Well, one of the things you can do is, of course, by buying from a reputable dealer. Secondly, if the price is too good to be true, 
it most likely is too good to be true. I mean, if somebody's selling a coach bag that's supposed to sell for $300 and they're selling for $100, you can definitely, most likely, and most assuredly, say what? It is counterfeit. But it could be even worse than that. Like I said, you don't know. And one of the things, have you ever seen on TV, such as things, you know, as seen on TV? Right now, counterfeiters are so bad in China that what they do as soon as a product is seen on, as seen on TV and gets advertised, they're already going out, buying the product, and going in and ma manufacturing a counterfeit. So now the only way you really can find out, like I showed with you with Delta with different oil filters, companies are now making special writings on their packages. They're even putting invisible ink and things like that. So you know that that package is real, that you can put it under a light and it'll show up. I mean, that, that's getting ridiculous. But like in my case, $1,300. Now, do, what do I do? Do I have to go and sue the guy who put it in? I mean, he probably buys it from a vendor who is an auto parts store, who bought it from someplace else, who sold him fake parts. And that's critical. I mean, $1,300 destroyed the engine. You're putting fake brake parts in your car, and you go to slam on the brakes, and all of a sudden, you can't stop. Could cost you your life. So I'm telling you, I am ranting and raving. And how are you going to fix this? Write your congressman. Write your legislature, like your local people. We need tougher enforcements and more to protect us from this. We need more protection because tomorrow it could cost you your life. And if you're buying counterfeit and you know it, stop it. This could be the end of, you could be costing somebody their lives. So let me get this, put this down in perspective. Right now, like I said, my hair is rattled because I couldn't believe that two cars, they put fake oil filters in. Now, fortunately, because the first car was just changed, we were able to get the oil changed real quick and get it out of there. But the, but the other car, $1,400, they had to disassemble the engine. They had to clean out the, the whole thing, all because of a fake thing. It's impossible. So anyway, I just this is my rant and rave on counterfeit products. Anyway, we've got other great videos out there on product reviews and things like that. Go check them out. This is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech. You have a great day and stay safe.